Hello people, this is just a short video just to show you a campsite that is in the dead centre of Hereford City, right by the cathedral and it's within 10 minutes walk of all the amenities of the centre of Hereford. It's a nice campsite right on the edge of the River Wye. It's beautiful. Just watch the video. Cheers. This campsite is in the dead heart of Hereford city centre. It is literally minutes walk up a small back street. You can either go under the subway, through the car park or across the main road and you're in the centre of Hereford. I will go through on Google Maps now. I'll show you where it is. This is the uh, uh, a map of Hereford city centre. There's the river and the rowing club is just on the edge of the river there. I'm zooming in now for you. There's there's the rowing club. It's it's even written on there. There's the rowing club and all around that dotted line is the uh, the field. It's quite a big field. I mean they've they've got facilities to hold 50, 50 uh camps, campers, caravans, tents. So uh, just put my little man on the map and I'll take it down to the street view. It's the right hand entrance out of these uh, three. The other middle one there is uh, a, a public footpath. Uh, they, 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 there is a public footpath. There are footpaths everywhere, uh, even up the sides of the rivers, which I'll show you in the video. Um, this is the entrance to the campsite. As you can see, I'll zoom in a little bit. That's the entrance, and you get down onto there. There is a rugger pitch and a football pitch down there. So now I'm going to show you the way that you walk up into the town centre. Just follow this little back street. It is only a little back street so there's no heavy traffic or you know hardly any traffic on it whatsoever. Um, we'll go on up here towards this uh, beautiful little church. Right, this car park on the right hand side is a pay and display as are all of them in Hereford. Bloody expensive. There's a tunnel there which you can drive through with a car takes you to another car park the other side of the bypass this is the inner ring road I should say and then there's a, a, a subway there to walk across to save you queuing up to get across which is a very very busy set of traffic lights this this is the inner ring road you cut straight across and you look left and right as you should do <laughs> you come in to King Street now in my video that I'm just about to show I do walk up as far as this here from the right hand side which I'll show you in the video this is just a little short walk and right in front of you you come to the cathedral absolutely beautiful monument um, there is the shroud that they're supposed to erupt Jesus up in there um, there's several artifacts loads of history um, this is up the Broad Street uh, you've got the Green Dragon Hotel on the left hand side of you there. Um, but then it brings you up, we call this the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the chapel in front. Um, I'll show you now. The tower, the tower is bent, so it's twisted and bent. It is still moving as well, but that's open to the public. Um, you can go in and uh, there's a lot of history in that uh, church. You can also get tea and biscuits and a like. That walks you down towards a load of other shops. Um, this takes you into the centre of High Town. Um, Google, Go the Google van wasn't allowed to drive right across the uh, the High Town. All this these building works have gone. Uh, this this video where this Google Maps is 2018, so it has all gone. Um, I've got to uh, use my little man now and. Uh, place him at the other end of the high town street because uh, uh, he's as I say he's not allowed to go right through um, there's always activities going on in the center on this uh, pedestrian area always activities there's the old town hall the black not beautiful black and white it is a museum you can go in there and see 
we got our uh, monument that was burnt down that uh, was a long time ago that was burnt down um, it is all rebuilt now and uh, this takes you on down if you carry on down here I'm not going to go all the way down because uh, on the Google Maps here it's still got all the roadworks which have gone now you've got your McDonald's on the right hand side at the bottom um, and then if you carry on down that street into Commercial Street you've got your bus station and your railway station so I'll just show you how you know how, how close it was um, how close that was I mean it just took what, what's it taken it's taken us what two minutes uh, no four minutes now just to for me to describe it using Google Maps um, it is on there um, it, it is literally only 10 15 minutes walk well the video now will only be 10 15 minutes walk I'll show you where the uh, indoor swimming pools are it's multi pool uh, there's a gym in there there's restaurants there's cafe so uh, I'll show you it all and uh, hope it all helps you right for those of you interested there's dry book lane over there that takes you directly from uh, uh, the rowing club you cross over a road or a couple of roads you end up here on St George's playing fields and there's the leisure centre a big big swimming pool yeah, open to the public I'm not going to go in there I've not done other prices but uh, yeah it's all over here so if you stop at the rowing club um, I'll get the prices from over there for you Right, let's go for a walk. St. George's Playing Fields. This is the uh, health centre part of it. There is a cafe there. Uh, you can see there. Advice children's activities. Advice and children's activities. Used to be a big outdoor swimming pool here, which is gone nowadays. There's loads of things for the kids to play on, but Barry it off, I expect it's because it's too uh, too rough and it is waterlogged that's normally flooded at this time of year uh, it looks like it was flooded because you can tell by the colour of the grass yeah oh, this is the back of the leisure centre itself a bit run down here Class out of the doggy's alley. So I'll walk back the other way. See if I can get a film back. Film it as I'm going away. Uh, they're all in here. They're on the treadmills. Love that. If they bloody walk to work, it'd help. If they walk down here, it'd help. Well, they tend to come down in the car, do a workout, and then jump in the car and drive home. Let me see the point. As you can see in the front there is the cathedral. We'll probably zoom in on that way and then zoom back out. That is a beautiful place to visit. It's got um, the, the, the what you call it a shroud in there. Um, can't remember has it got the Book of Monday in there? I can't remember. It's a long time ago since I've been in there. I'm only here today because I've taken mother to the hospital here and uh, I totally refuse to pay for parking so I've uh, found it in the street and got an hour's parking <clears throat> but I will, I will uh, sort of walk back round in a while I don't know whether I can walk up well, I'll definitely walk up there in an hour but then behind it, there's the pools. Right, there's people coming now, so I'll shut down. Uh, still on St. George's playing fields. More kids playing areas. You can see the swimming pool behind it. But this used to be a big open air swimming pool. When I say a swimming pool, it's a paddling pool. It was only about know, a foot deep, so you couldn't go swimming in it. <laughs> But it is the King George V playing fields. 
it does flood a lot. And I'm walking down towards the river now. So uh, I'll be able to show you how high the river is now. Remember when we've just had all those storms? This is the aftermath of the flood that went through here. It all banked up against this fence and pushed it over. It's a lot of water they had here. But, uh, if I cross over here on the grass, I'll show you how high the river is now. It's gone down a lot. It was up over this bank. But of course, this is the River Y, so this has come all the way down from Bilth Wells. Well, way the other side of Bilth Wells. You can still see there's a lot of debris coming down in it. And a moorhen. <laughs> yeah, so that's the bridge. You can see how much wind, how, how much tidal washes on those bushes. Uh, Beautiful then. Tell you what, now I got out of that sun. It's bloody cold over this side. Yeah, I'll carry on walking up the river. I should take the river bank. Of course, there's no grass with all the leaves on the floor, is there? As you can see, cathedral's just over the uh, other side of the river there. Some beautiful property on the edge, river edge. Now they got planning to build a bungalow on it, I don't know. A swan in the river over there. I can hear a lot of music coming from that side. Yeah, beautiful. Peaceful. Two kids playing in the park. Oh, of course, it's um, Monday, what you call it, Remembrance, isn't it? Oh, and there's somebody else coming now, so I'll shut down again. Looks like it's the Environment Agency that's put a launch into the river, cleaning up the river. Aren't all the diesel eaters going? <laughs> it's obviously coming tea time then. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so the council must have a environment agency, must have a, a boat in the river somewhere. I can see all the debris coming down the river, so they're most probably trying to clear it away from the bridge because this old bridge is weak. When the water does rise up a certain level, they uh, they shut the bridge down. It's been on the news, national news, many a time. I can hear, I can hear chains all going up there now. Oh, beautiful. Still see the cathedral behind that tree there. Yeah, look at that. Can you? I don't know whether you can see it. I'll, I'll zoom in on it with uh, the computer. There's a lot of debris coming down there, and it looks like it's just been cut. <sighs> Shouldn't have thought they would have been allowed to let it go. I know it's already come down the river. Don't know. Oh, that's how close I am to the cathedral now. And uh, this uh, this high river has uh, shut this path down, so I can't continue along the edge of the river, which leads direct to the rowing club. Oh, I can't get through over there, so I got to go through all the old car parks. Oh, anyway, I'm going to walk back all the same way. Nah, uh, all these new buildings. A little trade they're losing now. All right. I'm parked in that street over there anyway. It's coming off the old bridge. This is the old bridge. Well, you can see it down the side there. But uh, I'm just going to go down the path a bit. There's a crowd stood on the top of the bridge. Looking at them cut the debris up off it. <coughs> That's the new bridge. At the end of this lane, on the left, is the rowing club. I will walk that way in a second. There you go. We're in a little pontoon, or a couple of pontoons. That's how much debris come down the river. Why they have to clear it because you know the bridge is so unstable. I don't see them ever shutting it down. They won't be allowed to shut it down. 
they do shut it down and they close it just temporarily whilst the floods are in I've seen it going over the top of that bridge but a lot of it's because of this slot in the blocking it that's the nightclub over there I think it's called the left bank busting for a piddle a fair amount of turbulence in the water there I say there's a big log underneath there or something shopping trolley yeah oh, walk down underneath the new bike uh, well I when I say it's a new bridge it's not a new bridge bloody hell it was built when I was a kid but it was uh, part of the central relief in Hereford and of course the uh, the, tra the traffic is built up and built up right that's the uh, rowing club on the other side of the river There is a footway to go up this side of this uh, bridge, onto the bridge, cross over, and then you come off the bridge on the side there. But I will walk down here to show you that it does flood every now and then. So it's so sodden there, I don't think they've got it open anyway. But Geeky Phil has got an event on there on New Year's, I think. Another druggy alley. Right, I'm below the new bridge at the moment. Right below it. Normal thing with cities and that like that. You've got the graffiti on the wall. Well, that's the steps up onto the bridge. And uh, you go up onto the bridge, walk along the bridge and you can come off the other side into the rowing club and the rowing club's just there look well the canoe gives it away doesn't it there's a floodlit uh, I think it's a rugby pitch there I think a rugby club is there as well I'm not sure can't remember the water looks ever so calm now and pretty clear it's not muddy so they've had no more rain up uh, in Wales well it doesn't show here for a day or so uh, right, I'm not walking any further down here for you. Awful lot of cider apples. This is in the vortex. Of course, all the silts coming up there is from their little barges, their little flat bottom boats. Fence posts with barbed wire on everything. More cider apples. If you are in Hereford. Where the men are men and so are most of the women. Fair turbulence there though, a lot of whirlpools. See it coming back up over there. And then there's the uh, left bank there. Dining, the coffee pot. And even although the river flows that way, they're paddling forwards. Not get in nowhere much. The Y terraced unadopted footpath. So you can get to the rowing club up through there. I will only show you that entrance when we get to you can see down there you can see the bridge. I'll show you that when I'm in the car or when I drive fast. I've had a few nights out in that black lion. Ooh. All right. So, the bar.
too starting to get run down here because it is just a Hereford is just a bottleneck on a major A49 North South Wales route. I'll show you the directions. Cathedral entrance there. That's the end of West Street. And where that little church is at the other end of there is where the rowing club entrance is where you drive in. It's a set of traffic lights on the inner ring road. It's all one way systems here. All these rent a bikes. It was beautiful down there at the cathedral though. I just had not got time to go down there. because they are strict here with their parking. Bloody money grabbing 